Well, hello. How are you doing? Welcome to my channel, The Optimistic Gardener. My name is Steve Farley. As you can see, I'm I'm inside at the moment. It's a it's a cold, icy, wintry day outside here in Nova Scotia. As you can see, we've just been through a bit of a an ice storm over over the weekend just gone. And as you can see in the pictures there, um, it's brought on some absolutely stunning scenery with the, the ice on the trees, but not very good gardening weather. And it's not been very good gardening weather, obviously, with so much snow down on the ground. Can't do anything, really. Um, I've been toying with the idea of doing some planning, but actually haven't had any... Uh, any seed catalogues through the cheeky monkeys? No one sent me anything. Obviously, don't think I'm going to be planting anything this year. But um, I will. I'll just have to go on the, the websites and um, and see what I need to buy. First of all, I need to do some planning, which I'm, I'm planning on doing a planning video over the next few weeks. Just got to get the time in between work and DIY, etc. But, but a hint of spring and summer is in the air. Are you sure I hear you say? Oh yes it is, because this raggedy old geranium that I had in my playroom, I brought it in and it's, been, it's very, my playroom or the playroom or the sports gym room that we, we have now um, is really cold and I thought I'd killed this off. But the other day, or should I say earlier yesterday, I looked at this and there, as you can see, are some little green shoots coming through. And if I look at the rest of the plant, there's lots of little green bits coming up. So I thought I might as well tidy this plant up, renew a bit of the earth, and uh, you know, give it a bit of a brush up, give them a chance, give it a water, and bring it into the warmth, and it might do me some good this year. The thing is, this is an absolute stunner of a geranium. I, I bought it a couple of years ago actually and I, if you see up there the video, I took, this is a cutting from the original plant that I took earlier on last year and that video is up there um, and I had about 10 cuttings and 10 beautiful plants all over the place. Really, really beautiful flower. So I'm so, so pleased that I didn't kill it off um, and it seems to have uh, come through so I'm going to give it the best chance I can now so all I'm going to do really is cut some of these in fact I might have to just pop down and get my proper sec uh, secateurs be right back right where was I aha yes the secateurs right so I'm going to give this a good a good haircut as they say cut everything right back to where I can see some green growth. And we can obviously see that that's sort of died off there anyway. I think hopefully you can see the brown, the brown bits there. So we cut this right back. And then if I give it a bit of water, renew the earth a bit, we should have lots of nice new cuttings or growth rather that I can take lots of nice new cuttings from and have quite a few plants again so I've cut it right back there as you can see and what I'll do is I'll take it out Get rid of some of this earth. Now really and truly, I should have just kept this indoors up in the kitchen over winter. And then it would have probably been a bigger plant. But I've been lucky. And it's lived. My banana plants that I took out last autumn they're all doing okay in the uh, in the gym room okay so i've taken quite a bit of this off at the end of the day this plant is not going to be in here for you know for good light all i'm doing 
It's just giving it some extra. Right, so what I've got is my leaf mold mix here. Nice, look at that, beautiful leaf mold. And I reckon that'll do nicely to keep the plant going nicely over the next couple of months. Give this a good liberal on top and all around the sides and that. Careful not to break the new growth. Mrs. F is not going to be at me. I'm in the kitchen actually. <laughs> Oh well. Can't make an omelette without spilling, breaking a few eggs, can you? Right, there we go. It's as simple as that. So, some nice um, room temperature water. Give this a bit of a, a water. There we go. So I'm going to gradually, hopefully this will gradually come back to life now over the next few weeks. And by the springtime, it'll be a nice bit of growth there for me to take quite a few cuttings I'll be able to take on there, I reckon. And, uh, and then I'll be able to take cuttings from those cuttings. So, you know, an absolutely, you know, it's right again, an absolutely beautiful flower. And uh, really looking forward to that gracing my, my patio and around about the bazaars over the summertime. So again, I can only apologize at the moment for my lack of um, output on the videos at the moment. Like I said, it's not very good uh, video weather and I don't really wanna be take, making videos just for the sake of making videos. Uh, hopefully over the next couple of months, well, by next month I'll definitely be be getting the videos and as soon as the snow goes I've got quite a few projects I can make a start on so um, I'll be outputting some vids then I've got some exciting projects this year actually some new garden areas maybe even a new shed out of pallets a um, few things to do and the old pond that never seems to be uh, uh, completed in the orchard I've got to finish that do that finally this year anyway just a little interlude bit of an update and to show you how I'm going to bring my beautiful geranium back to life. Jobs are good.